we're back. You're about to see some footage from Palm Bay Police Department. This incident occurred on January 20th, 2022. This is Officer Lutz in the vehicle that you're seeing here, and he's about to stop an off-duty police officer with the city of Melbourne. Off-duty officer Dolce is approaching this vehicle, and the officer calls it out at 68 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour posted speed limit area. Now, as this officer makes a U-turn here, he accelerates up to around 80 miles per hour. I'll zoom in on the speedometer so you can see that. Now, his radar is equipped with an approaching radar determination basically through the radar will calibrate your speed, the slow vehicle speed in front of you, and provide you what that speed is. A moment ago, it passed me at 66 when I was uh, entering the turn lane. It's currently 67, 68, 68, 69, 70 briefly, 70. 5750. It'll be Babcock in the boulevard southbound on a Durango, 23 on the plate. Drifting in the lane. In case you were wondering, the tone that you hear in the background of the audio is the Doppler tone from the radar unit. Whiskey Zulu 1 3. The officer rolls his window down here. Many times officers will do this to see if they can get the smell of any burning narcotics coming from the vehicle. One thing I enjoy doing is reading body language. As a former law enforcement officer myself, I watch this officer walk up to the car and deflate himself. He rests his hands on the windowsill and taps his flashlight. It appears he instantly recognizes this officer, letting his officer's safety skills down. I got a pee. Can I get you have your uh, registration insurance as well? Yeah, I do. How much did you drink tonight? No. Smell the alcohol. I believe he's looking for his insurance card, which may be digitally stored on his phone. I saw one seventy five. The fifth one. Another one, henchman. Even the lack of talking with this off-duty officer is a vital cue in my thoughts of what's going on. Come back here. Do you know how fast you're going? Uh, about 62, 63. The highest speed I got on radar was 70. 70? And that was right before I pulled you over. I was really happy to you, that's all. Okay, so you were also drifting in the lane. So when I was coming up behind you, you were... Just because I was... Get my boy job. Okay, probably not the, the best decision while you're driving, especially if uh, you're in yeah. a certain yeah. career field. I understand. You didn't drink anything. No. no. Okay. Just hang tight right there. Give me a second. I don't know if you caught that, but he said he wasn't drinking. And the facial expression are more behavioral cues. Not only that, this officer knows that everybody has body cameras. And the admission that he gave that officer just a minute ago for why he was swerving in the lane could be a very sticky situation. I'm just gonna check. Check your eyes, we'll go from there, okay? Yep. You put your feet together, arms at your side. See the finger? Here's what I want you to do, okay? Yep. I want you to follow the finger. Finger's gonna go back and forth in front of your vision. All I want you to do is continuously follow the finger, don't move your head. Yep. Understand? Mm -hmm. Any questions? I do have a fucked up left eye. What's wrong so with it? Do. When you do your nystagmus, it's gonna go fucked up for a quick second. I'll what causes it? Is it endpoint nystagmus? Is no, it... it's a head trauma from the military. Is it just in one eye? Yeah. Okay. Left eye? Yeah. Okay.
The nystagmus exercise is an opportunity for officers to find out if your eyes are reacting to the alcohol that you've consumed. If you've consumed enough alcohol, your eyes will lose lack of smooth pursuit at the maximum deviation on the sides and the corners as you see here I'm holding it. Your eyes will begin to twitch. Studies show that the more alcohol you have, the more the nystagmus or the jerking will be active in your eye. Now, if this officer is indicating that he is close, he's seeing nystagmus. And anytime that you see nystagmus prior to 45 degree onset, your blood alcohol level is generally above 0 0.08, which is the unlawful limit in Florida. All right, I assume you remember who I am when yeah. you work here. Yeah. All right, looking at your eyes, I would say you're probably close. Okay, so in lieu of continuing, why don't we call somebody who can pick you up? You and I both know that would never happen for us. It's not for me. Well, if you want, we can continue uh, and no, we see no, how it no, goes. No, but no, I would rather not. I'm in enough shit with my department as it is, so I would rather not. So. How about we make some calls? Okay. I'll do that. Okay. You can have a seat back in the car. Let me know when you got somebody yeah. around. Well, I'm absolutely confused. You just determined that he's not safe to drive, but put him back in actual physical control of a vehicle. This is the same shit that cops arrest citizens for, for sleeping off the drunkness in the parking lot. Actual physical control. Remember, silence can be some of the loudest unspoken words. I assume you're familiar? Yeah. How long? Uh, he's off of uh, Garvey. Okay. So, 15 minutes. Okay. So, I, I'm sure I don't need to explain to you, man. I, I'm going to trust that you uh, wait to get picked up. If I see you pull back out, you know, we'll have a different conversation, which I, I don't want to have. I totally I, get it. No, you don't want to have. Okay. You have lack of smooth pursuit. The nystagmus isn't that pronounced at maximum deviation. You don't have an angle. So, like I said, you might be over. You may not be. Okay. Obviously, you're not falling down drunk or anything like that, but the driving wasn't great. Okay. I'm not trying to push it. So. Yep. Is he going to pick up the car or are you going to leave it? Uh, he'll have his buddy ride with him and get my car. So. All right, that works. Like I said, just Thank obviously you. get picked up. Thanks. See you, man. What do we know about this officer? That's him. There on the right. He's a DRE, which is a drug recognition expert. He's received awards from Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Please check out the links in the description below for details on that. Now, an article in Florida Today says that there's no easy way to beat a breathalyzer test, and it featured Officer Lutz here indicating that he's a top DUI investigator. Now, the police chief of Palm Bay found no wrongdoing. 
and actually commended him. 